Thank you very much. Now let's take a look at this forest. Isn't it beautiful? It's also very smart because forests know how to manage their water use. Forests get all the water that they need from the rain, then that water is cleaned and returned back to the system. It's a net zero water system. As we continue to have more and more pressure on our current water systems, we need to learn how to manage our water use like a forest. And that is exactly what the Bullet Center, the greenest commercial office building in the world, is showing us how to do. The Bullet Center is designed to act like a forest. 69% of the water that falls on the site of the Bullet Center is collected, cleaned, and returned. Very similar to a forest where it's 61%. The remaining 31% that falls on the sidewalks and the landscapes around the Bullet Center becomes controlled stormwater that is slowly returned into the water table, just like a forest where it's 39%. So let's take a closer look at how this works. It all starts with rainwater catchment. The beautiful solar panel covered roof of the Bullet Center serves two purposes. It produces all of the energy that the Bullet Center needs, and it also is designed to catch all the water that the building needs. When rain hits this roof, it's collected, sent through a vortex filter where debris is removed, and then it's sent down to a 56,000 gallon cistern in the basement that you can see here. It's stored here, and then from here, it's pumped to a comprehensive filtration system that you can see on the left. This filtration system filters out viruses and bacteria and sterilizes microorganisms. It's designed to turn rainwater into clean, potable drinking water. Once the water goes through the filtration system, it's stored in the 500 gallon day use tank that you see there on the right, the white tank. Now this tank had to be specifically engineered and designed so that it could meet all of the building's water needs for a day. Once the water is used in the building, that's when the gray water treatment system kicks in. When you wash your hands in the bullet center, the, the water and the biodegradable soap are sent to a constructed wetland where the water is cleaned and most of it is returned back to nature through evapotranspiration. Then any remaining water is sent to an infiltration zone where it infiltrates back into the groundwater. Here's what it looks like outside the bullet center. Where you see green roof filtration, that's the constructed wetland that's on the third floor of the bullet center. Where you see post-treatment infiltration, that's the infiltration zone where the water returns to the ground. Let's take a closer look at this constructed wetland that's on the third floor. This is what it looks like. The constructed wetland is a green roof that is filled with porous gravel and bioretention soils. The plants you see here are horsetails, chosen for their hardiness, their love of water, and their ability to thrive in Seattle's climate. Now, water is pumped through this system several times. It goes through little, drip, little irrigation drip lines. And as the water moves through the system several times, it's cleaned, and most of it is returned back to nature through evapotranspiration. These horsetails return it back to the air. Any remaining water is then pumped to the infiltration zone, and that's what you see here. Right below these dogwoods, there's 20 feet of gravel where the water slowly drips back down to the water table. Now, if we're going to talk about water, we have to talk about this. Now, at this point, this toilet knows we're here. And this is a foam flush toilet system. So a sensor on the wall begins to create foam that goes down the sides of the toilet bowl. The foam is made of biodegradable soap and just three tablespoons of water. Now, think about how much water your toilet uses. The most efficient toilets use 1.26 gallons, but this foam flush toilet uses only three tablespoons. Now the foam helps the waste make its way down the pipes while using very little water. And these pipes don't go to your typical wastewater treatment center. It goes to a composting toilet system. The Bullet Center is the tallest building in the world to utilize composting toilets. Now we need a round of applause for that. 
So when the waste makes its way down the pipes, it goes to 10 composters that are in the basement, which you can see here. Now once the waste is in the composters, the decomposition process begins to happen. And in order for successful composting, you need to have an aerobic decomposition process. That means you need to have oxygen. And so when you sit on the toilets, you'll feel a little breeze of air. And that's because these little white fans that you see on the side of each composter, they're pulling down air from the toilets above down into the composters so that there's enough oxygen for successful decomposition. This system is carefully managed. The building manager checks these composters each day through the little black doors at the top of each composter. If the compost is too wet, they have to add wood chips. If the compost is too dry, then excess liquid that makes its way down to the bottom of each composter is pumped up through these white tubes up to the top and then sprinkled back down onto the compost to moisten it. Now it's important to manage the moisture level because we need oxygen. He does his daily check. He also uses a specialized socket wrench that you can see here in the picture. And he uses it to turn tines that are on the inside of each composter. So let's take a look inside. Here you can see there's three different levels. He turns the tines that are at the top of the composter. And over time, the waste slowly becomes smaller and smaller particles. It makes its way down through each level of the composter. These composters have create two different products. The first is the compost, and it can come, it's, once it's done with decomposition, it comes right here at the bottom. It's estimated that it's gonna take about two years for the first, amount, the first compost to leave the bullet center. So if any of you have been to the bullet center and gone to the bathroom, a part of you is still in the bullet center. Now the second product is called leachate, and that's ex the excess liquid that comes at the bottom if it doesn't get used to, be, to moisten the compost, then it gets sent to these leachate tanks that are right next to the composters. And it's pretty cool because the leachate is actually being sent to a liquid waste facility where it's being utilized as an organic nutrient in a bird sanctuary. And I forgot to mention, compost goes to GroCo, which is a company that turns it into fertilizer. It's a beautiful system but it wasn't easy to design. The Bullet Center design team had to work closely with policymakers because when they designed this facility, there weren't policies that were made for this type of system in a commercial office building like this. And so the Bullet Center is paving the way for future buildings like this. Now imagine if every building and if every community had a net zero water system how would it alleviate the current pressures that we have on our water systems? And how can we get there? The Bullet Center is the perfect model and laboratory for how we can do it, just like a forest.